Hey, Brian, how was your bye week? Well, it was pretty good. It was good. How was yours? It was pretty good. Well, just as you get older, do you, do you use this time any differently than you might have, you know, when you were starting out in the NFL? Um, yeah, a little bit different. It's a little more low key. Uh, try to settle my mind, not really be around a ton of people. Um, just kind of get away and escape mentally. Uh, my rookie year, I was going home and going back to University of Pittsburgh and trying to see a bunch of people and do a bunch of things that I thought I was missing. But uh, now it's just kind of trying to disconnect from everything a little bit. Chris? Oh, hey, Brian. I hope all is well. How do you think the offensive line is settling together? I mean, uh, Ole's getting in a groove. Ezra's looking solid in the second year. Now you got Christian Derisaw, you know, coming on strong after starting. How do you just think the line, especially some of these, you know, newer guys, is settling in? Um, you know, I think it's been a good start. I think we got a lot of room to grow, just like um, any other position. But we've had a good start, got a lot to improve on, um, some specific areas we'd like to get better at. But that's just the nature of football is you're never as good as you want to be and you're never as good as you can be. But um, good start, got a lot of work to do. What's kind of your role being the veteran, you know, working with a lot of these uh, younger starters on the line now? Um, you know, I try to just be myself. I try to be myself every day and bring a positive energy and great attitude to our room um, and just try to lead by example. But if guys have questions, uh, they know they can ask me, they can ask Garrett. Uh, we can all ask each other. We've been working well together, and I think the dynamic of the group is really good right now. Andrew, follow up by Dave. Yeah, Brian, just going back to Darisaw, what did you guys think of his, his first start and just playing 89 snaps and doing it against a guy like Brian Burns? A um, lot of respect for what he was able to do last week. Um, I don't want to speak for Kirk, but he said to me after the game, he said, when I was on the field the whole time, I didn't know he was in there. I mean, he knew he was playing, but he didn't notice him, which as an O-lineman is a really good thing. He said, you know, he was just out there operating, doing his job. And for me to not notice him, that's awesome. So uh, he's really even keeled, steady Eddie. Um, he's very focused, quiet, but does a great job. He's out there communicating when he has to, talking to me in between drives about different looks. And um, I'm really excited for him, and I'm really happy that it went well his first time out there. Dave, followed by Matthew. Hey, Brian, so you have your, your bye after week six, and this year is the first year of the 17-game season. It, have you guys given any thought to, you know, even maybe how much more of a of a grind um, it's going to be with the extra week? And, you know, is there any changes that you've kind of made to your routines to try to stay as fresh as possible? Um, in terms of seeing the big picture, uh, you don't really think about that week to week. Um, but, you know, when you step out of it and look at it at the offseason, you plan on playing more than 16 games anyway. So um, playing 17 or playing 18, 19, 20, whatever it is, you know, whatever the task is required, we're going to be up to the challenge. But um, and then in terms of routine, I think you're always trying to make it better, always improve ways to make your body feel fresher, do things a little bit differently to gain an edge, especially as the season goes on, because, you know, in late October, November, December, those little things can mean a lot more. Matthew, fellow by Courtney. Hey, Brian. Um, the other day when we spoke with uh, Adam Thielen, he talked about sort of um, the sideline feeling like it needed to be more intense after the block punt, and that was kind of the turning point against Carolina. I guess uh, how do you how do you view that um, in, in terms of getting the offense to have the same sort of intensity that it had in the second half of the Carolina game to carry over uh, more consistently? Um, I'm not sure. You know, I. Really, just at the end of the day, you can take a look in the mirror and ask yourself, did I do enough to bring energy to the group? And always kind of you know, point the thumb, not the finger, in terms of can I bring more to the group to get guys energized and focused? And uh, that's something I'll continue to try to do and do better is be a presence with great energy and hopefully get guys dialed in. Courtney? I was just like thinking like point the thumb, not the finger. I was, that took me a minute too. I'm, I'm still in the bye week. Like I had no idea what that meant, but now I get it. Thank you. Um, about Dalvin, like, I mean, he comes out in that Carolina game and has 29 carries coming off an ankle injury. And it just seems like he's that type of guy where no matter what, he's going to put himself in position to play. Like as a, as an offensive lineman, somebody who's blocking for him, like, do you kind of 
take on some of that pride of like, I need to, you know, I need to be at my best because this guy's putting everything like going a hundred percent in the training room, trying to get himself better to, to be able to play. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it's definitely something we notice and have a ton of respect for. And something I've said to him before is in my job, I'm just trying to block somebody who's trying to get away from me. You got 11 guys trying to hit you at once. That's a lot harder for uh, somebody to deal with day in and day out, week in and week out. And so uh, a lot of respect for the work that he puts in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, when um, not everybody sees it or not everybody sees what's going on with him outside the building. But he's a true professional and takes care of himself. And um, you know, for him to come out there and give us the effort that he did, not even at full strength, is pretty impressive. And um, that's just, you know, that shows his character and his football character and how much he wants to win for us. Yeah, and just quickly following up on that, like when you see a player doing that, like fighting through something, like as ter in terms of like his leadership, how does that, like I guess, rub off on the rest of the team? Yeah, I think it's just shows that no matter what the circumstance is, no matter if you're banged up, if you're injured, if you had a bad play, if you're having a bad week, whatever it is, like the standard is still the standard and you gotta you gotta go hard and you gotta compete. And one thing I know about him is he never backs down from a challenge, no matter what it is. If we're doing a competitive, stupid game in the locker room, he's gonna win. If we're out of practice, you know, in between drills, whatever, throwing a water bottle in the trash can, he's gonna win. And no matter what it is when he's on the field, he's trying to win. And I think people feel that. Chris, followed by Sam. Oh, hey, Brian. Uh, Rick Spielman last week kind of touched upon this potentially tough four-game stretch coming out of the bye week. Just how do you feel about this stretch uh, coming up, and could it possibly kind of define your season? I mean, you got Dallas, uh, Baltimore, the Chargers, and Green Bay. Uh, to be honest, I had no idea who we play after the Cowboys until you just told me. Um, I kind of operate week to week, day to day basis, but all I know is that the Dallas Cowboys are really good. They have a really good record, a lot of talent up front, and that's really the only challenge uh, I'm looking forward to is this week because uh, if you get caught looking past anybody in this league, they're gonna, you know, it'll hurt you. And they have plenty of talent, and I got a lot of respect for them, so can't really look past this one. Sam? Yeah, Chris took my question, but um, are, are you – down the road on Dallas at all, Brian? Do you spend your bye week getting ready for that, or do you completely un, you know, unlock yourself from from NFL? Um, I personally completely unlock myself. Uh, we got back into it this morning, um, and have been into it a little bit in meetings today, and um, that'll continue today and tomorrow. We got an extra day today. We'll have you know our normal off day tomorrow. So uh, I think that's more of a coach's deep dive into them and advanced scout. But uh, for me personally, I shut it off.